Yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video, we got a good one, baby. We got Dragon Maid deck profile with none other than my boy, Milano. You guys love Dragon Maids. You gotta check this out. Whether you like it because you're a weeb or whether you like it because it's actually a legitimately good deck, stay until the end of the video and figure out everything you need to know to win with Dragon Maids. Because right in the video, you guys smash the subscribe button, but you guys smash the like button, and go check out Milano's channel down in the description below. And obviously, guys, he's gonna also go on tripgaming.com. So with that being said, it's time to get started, boys. Dragon Maid deck so far. Let's go. <laughs> And before we get into this awesome video, make sure you guys to go on tripgaming.com. I just restocked seven different mats. So instead of having one mat like normal, there's seven mats on the website. Some mats only have one or two left. We have two magician mats left, one direct record mat left. So go check it out right now, tripgaming.com, and see if you guys can get the last mats remaining for the trip collection. Anyways, enjoy the video. Let's go, boys. Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, we got Milano. Hey, it's me. You already know, Milano the Duelist here with my Dragon Maid deck. And I'm going to show you guys what the heck is going on with it. You know what I'm saying? It changed after the balance a little bit. You know, LP kind of hurt. But today, I'm going to show you guys the new and improved list to destroy your fellow comrades in your locals that are going to open soon, hopefully. <laughs> Let's go. Anything right. you want to say before we get started, bro? Yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, everyone YouTube go do that. It will be in the link in the description below. Wow, oh, baby, let's go. Like, uh, or maybe best, who knows? All right, so three chamber, three kitchen, three parlor, one nurse. Um, chamber searches a spell or trap on summon. Kitchen searches a monster and then discards a monster on summon. Parlor is a foolish burial on summon. And nurse special summons a monster from the graveyard on summon. So the reason we're playing this specific ratio is because these ones are all good to draw. Uh, nurse, you usually want to get to in turn two slash three or your opponent's turn. Um, otherwise, this ratio is good. I used to play two nurse, but now it's only necessary at one because Shadal is not really a contender this format. And because of the new version I'm playing, you really don't want to be drawing too many Dragon Maid cards. And yeah, so. they all have the, the effect in the start of the battle phase to bounce mm -hmm. back and summon a, a big dragon of this of the, the the level that it requires. So chambers seven or right. higher, nurse is seven, parlor is eight, kitchen is eight. Oh, that's not kitchen. Kitchen is eight. And yeah, that's all you need to know. This can summon Shio and House, which also is really awesome. So that's the, the dragon made lineup for the small ones. And then we play three big dragons right now. Uh, I like three big dragons right now because you actually kind of want to hard draw these. Lore power is not bad. Tinkex helps you swing over monsters, and Ernest is an extra extender. Otherwise, they're just completely like useless monsters. They're just things that you bring out with these guys that, mm -hmm. that you get to the graveyard, and that's the reason why you play them. But um, sometimes I bounce back from two to three. Um, the reason why I'm playing three though is because I do want to hard draw them this format mm -hmm. because they do actually have lots of applications right now. Right. And then for hand traps, I play three Ash. Three Bell, three Phantasmi, three Nib. Mm -hmm. um, I really like Phantasmi this format, especially. Striker. This is a, a huge big striker. Salad's kind of coming back. It's not really bad against anything, and especially in this deck, since it's a dragon, level five or higher dragon, you can use it to make Shio. Uh, also, with tidying, a play I like to do is special summon Phantasmi, tidying it back. Phantasmi next turn, you know what I mean? Against the slower control decks, especially like Striker, that's like an oppressive play to them. Uh, Ghost Bell is important in this format, it's pretty good against Drytron. Um, it has like applications against every deck, so I'm, I'm kind of liking it this format. This is still in the, this is like kind of like an experimental type of thing. I've been liking it so far. And it could protect your graveyard cards. Yeah, exactly. Ice Dragon's Prison is really hard to deal with in this deck especially. So um, this is a great card to actually counter that. Uh, Ash, of course, staple. Nib's really good for um, like pretty much everything that's like a combo deck because this deck has like a really hard time with combo strategies. So that's the reason why I go off to play the Nib as well in the main deck. But um, it's pretty easy to side out in this deck when you play this level, this number of hand traps. Mm -hmm. So um, it actually serves like a, a really good purpose. Mm -hmm. And because I increased the oh, I'm of the proxy. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's um, okay. This is this is extravagance. Yeah, this yeah, is this extravagance. Is pot, of, pot of extravagance. <laughs> All right. Since we're playing the pot of extravagance variant now, having hand traps to make sure that we live for the next turn, or at least like have defense now is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, pot of Extravagance over Pot of Prosperity in the new format is, is important because with the loss of LP, our extra decks just not too important. We just need three shield, three house, three seal. Mm -hmm. The rest of it is kind of useless. Not useless, but it's more uh, safe for utility. Um, with Prosperity, before you used to need to like, ser like searching World Legacy Guard Dragon from your deck with Prosperity used to be very important. 
However, now that LP's gone, World Legacy Guard Dragon itself becomes such a weak card, and mm -hmm. it turns Pot of Prosperity, it does, it, Pot of Prosperity cannot turn into the super extender that actually like makes your combo work. It just right. turns to a Monster Reborn for a monster's effects you already use, which is pretty much useless. Right, so, uh, and it's mainly, so, so since LP's gone, that's why like three extravagance. Yeah, this yeah, is a proxy, everyone, this is extravagance. Pot of extravagance, like, yeah. This is extravagance. You yeah. already know. Um, so then I played Boot Sector Launch again. Uh, with Striker coming back, Boot Sector Launch is super, super good. Um, it gives you lots of opportunities for um, balancing your seal when um, you have no more cards left over. So let's say you go uh, Kitchen into, into Striker Dragon, search this, summon another one, seal, and then you play this on the field. So if seal and this is the only card on the field, then you're still able to chain your Heratic Seal, even mm -hmm. if they use their Afterburners, if they use their, their um, right. Widow Anchor, whatever, right. you know what you're I'm right. saying? Not yeah. Widow Anchor, but... Yeah, so you get to just you utilize this card a lot. For free. And, yeah, literally yeah. completely free. Even though it is a brick, it does come up to put a card on the field with Heratic Seal. It's very important that it resolves. Because if it doesn't, then your whole uh, your whole strategy is like going to fall apart. Right, right. Uh, three Hospitality, still playing it at three. Best extender in the whole deck. Very important. You know what I'm saying? You do want to hard draw this card because if you don't hard draw it, you don't have like a blowout extender whatsoever right. in the deck. Uh, two Dragon Mate changeovers. Two is important because people actually like stopping the graveyard effect to add back. And sometimes the opportunity comes up where you use the graveyard effect to add back, activate it, and then you do want the second one in your deck to search off of chamber. Mm. So that it does come up in that way, but it also does, uh, it's an okay card to hard draw because like lots of the decks this format just like have a hard time actually beating over a, a shield. 3,500 is big attack points, mm -hmm. especially with the loss of dinos. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a lot easier to, to maintain your shield now. Um, then I play three one-offs, Call by the Grave, uh, Harpies, and Monster Reborn. Um, now that I play less Dragon Mate cards, you have less extenders, so this is going right. to stop the hand traps. Harpies Feather Duster is just one of the most powerful cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. If you're not playing this card, you're a sucker. <laughs> um, Monster Reborn is just an amazing uh, utility card. It's like World Legacy Guard Dragon, the equivalent of that, but it's way more expansive and way more allows for so many more opportunities. Taking your opponent's cards is so powerful. Taking your your big dragons, because World Legacy mm -hmm. Guard Dragon can is important. This card's amazing. Then I play three trap cards, uh, two tiding, one judgment. I really actually like the ju one judgment in the main deck, even though it's really like, <laughs> like, like you can say like the math behind it does not make any sense. Oh, why would you play one judgment? Like, do you want a hard drive? Do you not want a hard drive? <laughs> but realistically, having one judgment in my deck or having three judgment in my deck is absolutely, is absolutely, uh, is not important because, um, you're not going to search it anyways. It's there to be there. And when you do draw it going first, an extravagance gives you an extra card. When you do draw it going first, your opponent's never going to expect it. And when your opponent doesn't expect a solemn judgment beside your shield, they're not winning. You know what I'm saying? Stop the summon of their link two or something. Yeah. They normal summon Sky Striker, good game, bro. Like, <laughs> you're, you're looking dumb, you know what I mean? Uh, tiding is still good at two because you, like, even though you do want the third to grind, um, it's really important that you don't like kind of draw it going second because it does really suck if you're unable to stick a, a dragon monster on the board. It is really good with Phantasmi, however, it doesn't really come up to that level in which um, it is important to have that third instead of uh, compromising right. the consistency of your deck. Right. You never. You don't think you need three? Um, I do side the third because you do want to side it in for those grind your decks as well grind as the downtime. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But other than that, you really don't need the third. You know, Dragon Maid is one of those decks where as long as you have a game plan going into it, you will be able to um, make it work as you go. So if you could have searched the third one, maybe you could have conserved your resources for a seal instead and made that work. Nice, nice. So then for the extra deck, I played three Shio, three House, three Heretic Steel. These are the most important cards for Extravagance. Mm -hmm. Shio's a standby phase, summon any Dragon Maid, as well as uh, Omni Negate, shuffle back, summon House. House is, has the effect where you can uh, destroy uh, a monster your opponent controls each time a Dragon Monster is bounced not once per turn, as well as on the standby phase, you can summon another Dragon Maid monster if you control another one of like a level higher or lower. But, um, and Heratic Seal uh, lets you tribute itself to bounce a, a face-up card on the field as well as summoning a dragon from your deck. That second effect is actually the most important one in this deck because it actually lets you uh, continue your plays during your opponent's turn. So I'm going to Nurse, Nurse effects summon from Graveyard. Um, the reason why um, I didn't like Extravagance before is because sometimes even banishing two of your Heratic Seals is actually detrimental to your gameplay because um, you actually do need this card multiple turns to grind. This isn't an OTK deck. Um, so even if you banish two houses or two shields sometimes, it will be like, it does hurt. But uh, I think that the power that Extravagance provides this format is 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 what this deck needs currently mm -hmm. while 
World XC Guard Dragon is no longer uh, a really good option. Mm -hmm. So then I do play the Nightmare Phoenix. This card is fantastic. I think every deck should play this card still. Uh, Boral Sword Dragon. I, this is like my Link 4 win condition, mm -hmm. just in case uh, either I mean Extravagance or uh, uh, Alternative option comes up where you know what i'm saying go for the kill right this with shield was literally always a game nightmare unicorn is also a great utility along with the nightmare mm -hmm. phoenix because sometimes you want to go phoenix into unitorn right. unicorn clear two cards um pisty striker dragon you can still utilize this card by like like summoning heretic seal and then doing this when you need to get um a big dragon and you only have access to small dragons and you already mm -hmm. use your battle phase um, so that's why this is actually still kind of important. Striker Dragon searches your boot sector as well gives you a free link summon. Um, you can't cut that card. Um, but yeah, and then my last card is Topologic Chisbena. Huh. This is a little bit of a weirder pick right now. I wanted to try it out. I didn't get to summon it yet, but the theory behind it is that against decks like Striker, you really don't have any options in addressing their back row. Mm -hmm. Like if you, even if you go like get rid of the Ray and they have the multi roll face up, they have the area zero face up, they have like like a random set card that mm -hmm. is, if it's dead or not, you know, this gives you opportunity to uh, use the rest of your resources to kind of clear everything out and kind of force them to rely on the rest of their hand in order to actually come back. Right. So as long as you have something like this with the Shio, you should be fine, right. you know, and you can utilize this with tidying as well to, to do a, a cute play to kind of clear your opponent's back row. But yeah, I never, it never came up yet, but I would like, it's just, experimental this format nice well hey man that deck looks sick anything you want to say about the deck this format uh it's actually one of the most fun decks ever if you guys are looking for a new deck to play i think dragon meets even though it is a little pricey you know what i'm saying give it a try on dueling book and you will not regret it this is one of the most fun decks ever um i i literally still enjoy this is the deck that helps me enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh at the maximum potential you guys heard it there, boys, from Milano himself. Milano. But, it's, but it's nice. The deck's nice. Like, it can literally, like, it is it is the meta destroyer. You know what I'm saying? It has, like, the only hard matchup really is Drytron, but, you know, that's why we side. That's why we have side decks. Right, in, exactly. In like exactly. You guys heard it right there. If you guys want to look no further, go straight to that deck, pro deck list to play your Dragon Maid deck. And also, make sure you go check out Milano down in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.